Hi friends, I am Dr. Gaurav Agrawal. I am a pediatric cardiologist working in Delhi. Today I will discuss a hole in the heart known as the ostium primum type of atrial septal defect or primum type of defect. We will discuss about this. Uh, is this a normal hole found in pregnancy? No, it is, a not, it, is, it is not a normal hole. It is normally not present in any uh, fetus or uh, newborn. Whenever it is present, it is an abnormal thing and it should be treated in the form of congenital heart disease. If the child is delivered with this type of hole, what can be the symptoms? There will not be any symptoms in any form in majority of the cases until unless associated with severe leakage in the nearest well known as the mitral well in the form of severe mitral regurgitation. In that case, child will have difficulty in breathing, pneumonia and like situation can be there. But majority of the times, the patient will be asymptomatic. Then how will you come to know the child is having some form of heart defect? Your nearest pediatrician will auscultate here and will found a sound known as the murmur. Then he or she will refer to your nearest pediatric cardiologist and he will assess and will let you know that a child is having some form of heart defect in the baby. For diagnosing the ostium primum type of defect, what are the investigations? The best investigation is to do the pediatric echocardiogram from the chest of the baby. By doing this test, almost 100% of the ostium primum type of defect can be diagnosed. Other supportive tests can be in the form of chest X-ray and ECG. Rarely we have to perform a test known as the TEE or transesophageal echocardiography that we have to do from the, uh, we have to enter a probe through the mouth of the patient and we, the heart will be closer to that probe. By doing this test also, we can assess almost 100% of the ostium primum type of defect. Rarely, in, in rare to rare situation, we have to perform the CT and MRI. Another test that we can do in this type of defect is known as the cardiac angiography. Cardiac angiography is uh, done when the patient presented late, around 15 to 25 or 30 years of age, when we are not sure whether the patient is still can be treated or not. In that case, we have to assess the pressures and saturation in different chambers of the heart and uh, we will come to know the child is, the patient is still operable or not. After diagnosing the ostium primum type of ASD, what is the treatment of uh, ostium primum defect? The treatment is only open heart surgery in current scenario because there is no device available for treating the ostium primum by angiography or laser technique. Ideal time of treatment is between 2 to 4 years of age or as early as possible whenever diagnosed after 4 years of age. Rarely we have to do open heart surgery in first year of life when there is associated severe mitral regurgitation leading to the heart failure like of symptoms. But in majority of the cases the treatment is between 2 to 4 years of age. Is there any role of angiography? No. In current scenario there is no role of angiography. The hospital stay after doing surgery is uh, between 5 to 7 days and within one month child is uh, can go to the school and is physically fit for doing all type of activity and will live a normal life as we are living. For more detail you can log into my website childrenheartcare.com. Thank you very much.